This is the video introduction to experiment number 30. Build an ultrasonic pest repeller circuit in the Mr. Circuit Basic Electronics Lab 1. Here we show Mr. Circuit using some kind of mechanical flute to chase away pests. It seems to be working, being that the pests are holding their ears. People have always been bothered by pests. Maybe that's why they're called pests. Here's an oscillator circuit that some say will chase pests away. We are not sure it really does, but you can experiment with it and see what you think. This is the third circuit that uses a two transistor oscillator to feed pin 5 of the 555 timer IC. In this case, we're trying to produce a variety of frequencies that are known to be irritants to pests. The frequencies are above the audio range, so the human ear really cannot hear them. There is an LED in the speaker circuit, so you can see that frequencies are being fed to the speaker. Of course, as I said, we humans cannot hear these high frequencies because they are above the audio range for human hearing. Here are the steps we suggest you follow to build the circuit. Step 1. Lay out all the parts for the circuit. Step 2. Install these seven parts. The battery snap, the LED, the speaker, the 0 0.01 microfarad disk capacitor, the 555 timer IC, the NPN, and the PNP transistors. Step 3. Install the two electrolytic capacitors, the 1000 microfarad and the 10 microfarad. Watch the polarity. Step 4. Install the six resistors, the 47 ohm, the 100 ohm, the 1K ohm, the second 1K ohm, a second 100 ohm, and a 470K ohm. Step 5. Install all the jumper wires. Be careful to install them into the correct holes in the board. When you have completed and checked the circuit, touch the battery to the snap and the LED should light up indicating the circuit is working. If it does not light up, then recheck your wiring. Now I am going to demonstrate the ultrasonic pest repeller circuit in action. Here is experiment number 30, ultrasonic pest repeller, all wired up and ready to go. You've got the 555 timer, you've got two electrolytics, you've got one disk capacitor, one, two, three, four, five, six resistors, two transistors, and a speaker and a battery and an LED. Now remember, this project is going to put out very high frequency, so unless you've got super good ears, you won't be able to hear it, but all those little pesky little pests will be able to hear it. So let's turn it on. Well, there it is. It's on, and we can tell that it's putting out frequencies because the LED is on. And you know what? I don't see any mice or any rats around, so it must be working. All right, your turn. Get your parts, put it together. See if you can make it work like I did. And be sure to check for rats.